It's your boy Zap King the Giant Robots and welcome to Super Robot Tyson X O Not GC XO This is a 360 port of Robot Wars GC Despite the fact that it was translated recently, I don't care But I'm gonna milk the system New game, yes Save it here Let's start it all Don't tell me why, but I always go for the female super. That's just how I do. Uh, let's see. Female and super. Uh, what is this called again? The Soul Seba FF. I'm not going to mess with any settings. We'll just let it ride. All right. Oh, man. I should have done more prep, but there was no prep that I really did. Okay. I, I have kind of a plot translation, but I'm not sure where it picks up from. I don't know where to start reading. I don't know any of these people. I should probably... Bust out the phone translation! See if I can't hold up my phone and translate some shit. First and foremost, what is this lady saying? Okay, this is fairy. Cool, got it. And who's this lad up here? It says Jinfu, but I don't trust that. And who's this guy? Aichi, maybe? <sighs> I'm looking for a key point to start reading from. Like, if I can get any point of reference... That'd be great. But maybe things start different because uh, I picked Super.
Well, there's our main character. There she is. Akimi Akatsuki. I didn't change her name at all. Okay. Alright, so the, I, I found a point of reference. So, fucking here we go. We're gonna do some reading. Episode 1, allegedly. Out in space, in a galaxy far away, a mysterious man tells his lady commander that time's come to use the power of the cube. Uh, you know, also GameCube. For the glory has come to which the lady commander agrees. Sure. It is the year UC 0079. Humanity has established outer space colonies in an age of achievement. However, with the destruction of the Mars base some time ago, humanity learned that there were those out there that wished them harm. To combat this, defense teams are proud to protect the world and the invaders that appear are numerous, just like the, the Jakku Empire, the Robot Empire, the Dinosaur Empire, and Dr. Hedges, <laughs> the Kaiju Army. Against them, oh, oh, oh shit, hello. D dude, thank you. Arigatou gozaimashita. Uh, against these enemies are those such as the Photonic Power Labs, the South Home Labs, Saisho Industries, and the Earth Defense Class. The colonies, however, were left undefended and unaided as the Earth Federation is focused on defending Earth, which led to the Xeon and Giganos to take advantage of the dissatisfaction to begin war on Earth Federation for their own profits. The war between the Earth Federation and these two factions has continued for many months with the Federation on the losing end. Earth is no longer a safe place, and it's being targeted. Some years ago in Japan, Suimin Akatsuki and his chief engineer Jinpui Kawa Kawanichi, I guess those are two guys that were talking, were investing in UFO landing. Suimin noted that they only picked up on this with their new radar system, otherwise they would have thought it to be a very small meteor that would break up through the atmosphere. With the Mars space is destruction and sample, they're not sure what they find. Suddenly Suimin and Jinpui see a young woman in the shadow of the UFO, or spacecraft. She collapsed in front of them, and Sweden decides to take her to get medical aid at his company's medical ward against Jim P's request. Today, which was earlier, Sweden noted that it's been many years since Ferry arrived, which is the lady that we blocked at earlier. Jim P notes that Ferry has quite the engineering knowledge in addition to acting as Sweden's secretary as a test pilot. Hell, she's even got a doctorate from British University in no time flat. Fucking genius. Sweden says that above all, Ferry is a good influence as a big sister to his daughter Akimi Akatsuki. Hey! This guide also went with female character. Mary arrives and says that the test unit is ready and everything seems to be okay, and Suimin notes that the problems with the main pilot, they'll have to get Akimi ready. Jinpei notes that Akami doesn't, doesn't want to pilot the thing, so why force her to do this? Though, Suyun Sui, is headstrong, saying that he she has the same burning blood as him. Jinpei says that if he puts her on this path, there's no turning back. Very gives her assessment that Akimi, as that Miss Akimi, as she addresses her, has talent. She doesn't think the president made a mistake, but wonders if she's truly wise to send her to the front lines and she'll be targeted as a pilot of a new robot and have to bear it uh, to bear. Suman says that he's made a decision and Barry will just have to believe in him. By the way, where is that little girl? She's supposed to be here. Barry says that Akimi has gone out and th that doesn't very much sit well. Out on the town, we find our main carrier, her, Ak Akimi walking around. She notes that the town is actually pretty big and it looks so small from her cockpit when she's flying around. Akimi tries to get her grip on herself stating, what kind of normal girl just flies a robot? And decides that suddenly from now on she's going to go back to being a normal high school girl. But suddenly, and this is where we left off, there's an attack on the town. And Akimi sees a young boy being hurt by the debris. She goes to aid him and tells him to stay still and let her look at his wounds again, despite his protests. They're but flesh wounds, and Akimi bandages him up and grabs him by the hand, telling him to run. It's dangerous here. This guy tells Akimi to stop deciding everything and listen to him, but Akimi goes on to introduce herself and learn that the boy's name is Jig. Alas, not Kotetsu Shin. Ah, why no Kotetsu? Jig says that he'll stop, tells her to stop holding his hand while she takes him to wherever it is that she's seeking. 
but Akimi replies, You're pretty shy, aren't you? That's cute. This is annoys Jig, and he gives her the Who the hell do you think I am treatment? Which she replies to, uh, You're Jig. You just told me your name. I'm Akimi. I just told you my name. Get your act together. And call me by my name, not Lady. Back at Sideshow Industries, Suiyun notes that there's an attack and is pretty angry. Where the hell is that girl at? He tells Freddy to deploy alone at first, at the hangar. Over in the hangar. Barry tries to, but notes that she can't bring out the fiend machine's full potential by herself. Akimi arrives, apologizing for being late since she had to take some guy to a shelter, and tells Freddy that they're deploying, deploying the soul gunner. No, we are not deploying the Soul Gunner. We're deploying the Soul Saber. Right? Sieg or G? Hmm. Also, these are wrong. It all says it's a soul saber, but the real should say soul gunner. There's data that's wrong. That's gotta be what that meant. I think that's a copy and paste error. I don't need to mess with that. Pardon me while I correct the wiki. Real. Live. Now. This part of it. Anyway, yeah, back to reading. Da -da -da. She apologized for being late since she had to take a guy to the shelter. Then it says that they had to deploy the soul saber. I have to correct my translation. Guess her little excursions and returns in life to normal girl is going to have to be on hold. Stage one. Defense force. Move out. Yeah, that's what you get today. Mm, why is it defaulting my translates to Chinese? Oh, that was dumb. Okay, meanwhile, at Takeo Wata's elementary school, Wata is playing dodgeball with Kaoru cheering him on. The attack on the town has put that to an end as his vice president comes to pick him up. Da -da -da. And I immediately for left off, forgot where I left off. Ha ha ha. Uh, da -da -da. The BP comes to pick him up. Looks like this is a job for the star of GC, Takio's general company. AKA the thing known as Trida G7. <laughs> Q 
crew is on standby. Join the G7's launch when the public party begins with a public announcement. From Watson's beautiful secretary, all, uh, eight, a, la, a train platform and the China G7 appear ready to take off. To fight evil robots and earn money for the extremely fo small four man company. The Vice President advises Watson to be careful about firing missiles since they're pretty expensive. As an alternative, he can fire lots of beams if he wants. The enemies are the Ondron's robot army from the Robot Empire. A trio of false boo. Bilzib. Oh, fu- Uh-oh. Hold on. Uh, okay, that was a display error. Okay, everything's fine. It's weird. Fucking weird. That was scary. Okay. No, no, no. Hold on. This is... This could be a chord problem. Hold on. Okay. Uh, as a the trio of Falzeb, Belzeb, and... Daito? Daito? I gotta make some markings so I know. Da, 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 da. So I know stuff to change later. We'll do it later. Uh, right. Uh, Felzeb, Belzeb, and Daito create a bunch of Jock monsters as one of their usual plans to invade Earth for the Jock Empire. Or, and just, just because of it, the Dinosaur Empire's Mechazorses also show up for the hell of it. The Soul Saba, piloted by Akimi, arrives to help try to. But the vice president says that their rival company's product to take out. What? It's their rival company's pro. Why am I can't I read this? The vice president says it's their rival company's product out to take the job from them, to which their their secretary, uh, del name is deliberately delayed, but for some reason, says that he shouldn't say that. It's an ally machine. Akimi chides Wata that he should be more serious with the job instead of saying. What with the instead of saying that, what with the town being destroyed and Wata retorts that she's just trying to make sure she doesn't get the job done. What with SciShow Industry taking job offers that general company needs to keep afloat. Rival companies. Akimi says she's just joking and asks if they can work together since they can't send by and watch the town burn. It's not about money for her, as it is with Wata, and she'll just have to talk to her dad about the rival between the two companies. Wata chides Akami for being a daddy's girl, whereas he, being the head honcho, has a lot of responsibility managing his employees instead of being able to go and do what he likes. But this is not the time to talk of such things. A voice juts itself in. Hey guys, what the heck are you doing just standing around? Three more machines appear with Jin shouting that the Earth Defense class has arrived! The Vice President's response is... Uh, another rival! It's the EDC's Raijin-O! And the worse off, they work for free! Wata shouts that China is the best raijin you can just go home! To which Jin rebuttals, What? Well, we came to help, what's with that kind of attitude? Akimi tells Koji and Asuka that things like this have always been this way with Wata and Jin, and Koji complains that it's a pain, with Asuka grumbling that he just wants to go home.
as the enemies begin to move. The three groups of heroes decide they need to knock it off, quit squabbling, and get the job done. Time for Jin to engage. Gata! Rigido forms, and says he'll take care of the jock monsters to which Belzeb and Felzeb blame Daita for its immediate fa failures. Oh, no, we haven't got there yet. Hello, welcome to team, first and foremost. Let's observe the main character, and our main robot, in its third dimension. Here we have Akimi Ak Akatsuki. Starts off with Wall and Strike. Level 1 Prevail, as well as Hitting Away. Yes, Hitting Away, I'm looking at the right thing. I'm looking at the wrong thing. As Level 1 Prevail, as well as Hitting Away. Wait, is that, hit is that Prevail? I want to go down, please. Allow me to go down faster. I don't think... Pilot abilities is not even listed. Looks like a page I have to make. Oh man, the curse of super robots. Let's see what I can get. I think this is cover, because that does not look like potential or prevail. Support to one. Additional attack when adjacent ally attacks unit, or when adjacent ally is attacked, it's possible to take damage. Support defense intent. So it's straight up support, level one. Yeah, that's not cover. That's just support. Say, we have sub pilot, uh, fairy firefly, whom also has cover for some reason. That's strange. Hmm. And she already starts with Axel, which is more data that needs to be corrected. Hmm. Interesting. Man, I found incomplete data. Now, over here, we have Wata. Wata Takeo! That's Prevail. That's Prevail level 1. Starts with Wall, Strike, and Great Guts. That's that full HP shit right there. Okay, game, let me... That's the button. Yeah, that's full HP right there. Over here. Jin Hyuga of Raijin of Fame. Has dis uh, detach, HP, and energy recovery on its own. Very nice. Jin Wata has prevail and shield defense. Starts with Great Guts and Wall. We have... Asuka Tsukishino. Already has Prevail. Has Axel and Strike also as well. And Koji Hoshiyama. Has Prevail and Support, level 1. Only has Gain though. 
Hey, but gain's important, especially early on. So we got a bunch of robot idiots here. Some shit over here. And a couple mechazaruses over there. It is completely reasonable for them to do this in three groups. Uh, ooh, nice. I like that display. That's superior. Show me all of my subpilot skills at once. Be on the building. Oh wait, they, if I separate though, that's oh yeah, it's, that's uh. Well, let's hit the save real quick. And we're going to disconnect. Do I want to do this? And now I just have the head unit. Uh, all four shoulder buttons start and select. Hold. Or er, start and back. Hold back. Quick reset. Let's go. That's it. Okay, now she has trust. Stand on this building. Transform? Ah, oh, it has transformed. We have a plane mode. Which looks kind of... Kind of dumb, honestly. Now this tank mode looks silly. It looks silly. Alright, Tobey G7. Try it out, G7. Tobey G7. Now we save. This game does not possess skill points, so we will not be uh, point getting anything. I get to pick my attack. Okay, if it's in red, I can't use it. Got it. Animation on. Okay, X will change that. Let's toggle. The triggers will do that. Jit talking shit. Wall up. Oh, uh, you're also in the water. Uh, everything's more or less fine. Tekki to no sotai kyori ni kiyo tsukete kudasai. Eh? Ja, iku wa yo, fairy san. Drill hand punch? I'll take it. I wonder what kind of formula there is for doing damage to the limbs with the attacks like this. Is it like more or less 5%?
Did you just teach me about recovery tiles? Yes, you've taught me that that is a that right there is a recovery tile. I'm gonna come over here and help you. Also, for those of you new here, uh, some of this uh, Let's Play is also karaoke. Deal with it. If you don't like how bad I say the words, show me what the words are, and I will improve. Nice! Critical! gonna overheat but I think it's just generally a smart idea everyone's had their turn save that game they haven't moved yet how rude uh, we did Oof, that's expensive body 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 this uses the body this uses the arms so, if my arms were to be blown off, I still have at least one attack. Uh, whoa, 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 I can sort? Why would I want to do that? Why would I want to sort by anything other than power? Okay, I guess it wouldn't hurt to sort by accuracy. Wild. Oof. Skadoosh. Okay, what did I do last time? This is post move. That's not post move because it's ammo based. Let's go. Nice! 
Ow. Uh. Hey, Jen, be more careful, you moron. Come on, get it together, Jen. Hey, quit scolding me, dumbass! I'm improvising. Competition. Hmm? The original are taking care of the jock. Tyler is taking care of nothing, and uh, but they're realizing that Earth rope. The enemies realize that Earth robots were more powerful than they expected. I can be wondering if Jig is okay and if he'll behave in the shelter. However, Jig is at the shelter and is out looking at the Soul Saber and mutters to himself, That's... Soul Lancer? No, no. No, they're similar. But how did the humans build something so similar? I have to look into this. Okay, so... Let's uh, Axel go ahead and guts up. Hey, give me your item! Hell yeah! Uh, shit. Repair Kito? Yeah, Kito. Got it. Belzeb, Belzeb, and Jibu are whining. We'll do a little self healing. Uh, tank up. Gone. Oh, hidden away. That's right. You do that. That's your move. Oh, hold on, hold on. I mean, I could check it in the book. Defeat all enemies, all allies defeated. Yep, that's pretty clear. Here we go. Uh, yes. Didn't even shield, idiot.
All right, we have to next move. Automatic support? Rivalry? Relationship bonus? Support? Support. Got it. All in, baby. I know he said it somewhere. Why don't I play the English patch? Because the roulette said no. Also, I bought a Japanese 360 to play this and by, by God, I'm going to play it. Give me another repair kit. I'll take it. Hit on the way. When I finished Robot Wars 64, I did a roulette at the end of the recording, and this is what it landed on. Yeah. 
because I am indecisive and I have to let random select side for me. Oh, I didn't finish him. And goodbye. Love a lot. Nice. Propellant tank and a booster. Hell yeah. After the battle, Fen reminds Akumi that her father is quite furious for skipping out of the meeting. Akumi whines that she doesn't want to go hear Daddy's lecture again. Jin says seasonally like a kid of his age, Akumi's in trouble. Eh. Maria butts in and says that he's being disrespectful for his elders since Akimi bails him out of trouble more than once and will again. Get their ass back to class! Didn't insist that he's taking the rest of the day off, which makes Maria pretty pissed. Koji and Asuka say that they should go back. Maria's pretty scared when she's pissed off, which gets an angry, What did you say?! Akimi says that the EDC seems to have problems of their own. <laughs> uh, to which Asuka asks if she had heard what I, uh, if, ask if she heard all that. Akimi says that they were talking on an open channel. Koji apologizes and Akimi says that they'll take care of things for her. She's got a split, which makes Jin grumble that adults always seem to get advantage of them. Koji corrects him that she's just a teenager, dude. Way back over at JC, General Company, Vice President reports to Wata that the city needs the money that they can use to pay them to do the repairs so they haven't made any immediate cash. Fuck. Only credits and combining this with the repair costs for the Trider, they're pretty much in the red for this month. The other employees note that the people will still be grateful for, for Trider, which will hopefully lead to more job. Out in space. Ondron is being berated by his superior Zakudon, who says that the Earth is a B-class target. Ondron shouldn't be coming back with failures. Ondron blames it on the other factions interfering and Zakudon tells him that those other factions that he just needs to use them to hit the other Zakaron tells him that he needs to use his other factions to his advantage. I can read. After signing off, Andron then wonders why they're targeting a B-class planet anyway. Skip that on the meeting, child. The hell is wrong with you? Get it together. Time to go get scolded about a meeting.
Huh. Didn't see this coming. Oh, is this all the shit that I read earlier? Oh yeah, uh, th so there's Dr. Hell's, you know, Kikaiju army. And then this is what's going on in the world. On Space Guns Far Far when it's uh, in the year 0079, humanity established outer space colonies, age of advancement, power with destruction of Mars, some time ago, humanity learned that there are those out there that wish to combat this. Defense season is crowded across the world to fight the invaders that appear new such as Jakku, the robot, the dinosaur, and Dr. Hell. Against them such as Photon Lab, Soundtome, and Science Industries, and Earth Defense Class colonies, however, left undefended. And unaided as the Earth Federation folks on the Earth, which had the Zeonic Giganos in space, has taken advantage of dissatisfaction and begin war upon the Earth Federation for their own profits. The war between the Earth Federation and these two factions continues for many months with the Federation losing in the end. The Earth is no longer a safe place and is being targeted. Why can I cycle through stats? Hey, but you know what? We do it. Thank y'all for watching. Welcome to EXO!